What is Funko Sodas? Well, there's really no history to Funko Sodas. This was a thing they started back in, I believe, 2020. So, I'm here to kind of give you a quick run through of what exactly it is it. Is it worth it? And for, er for people who are getting into the Funko game for the first time, I feel like this will be a pretty good product to educate them on. When it comes to people who don't collect Funko Pops, they may not understand a clue to what sodas are. Now many of you watching may be experienced collectors already and already understand exactly what sodas are. Good for you! This video is kind of created as a guide. I actually didn't know much about sodas either when I started getting into Funko Pops. To put it straightforward, Funko Sodas is an alternate version of Funko Pops, which are in a much smaller scale, and these are little figurines that come in cans, hence the name Sodas. So, because these are called Funko Pops, people like to call these Soda Pops. You see the idea behind here? The point with Funko Sodas is they are limited quantity. They are only creating a set amount of sodas, so they will be available for that period, and once they run out, that's it. They ain't making more. That's why you're gonna see a limited piece count on the can, as well as on the plus or on the cardboard pog that is in each can. So these figures are limited themselves, but it really depends because I'm in Canada, we usually get international cans. Now sodas just are just exactly like Funko Pops. They cover a lot of pop culture media and a lot of different franchises and different characters. So for example, the one I'm holding here is Boba Fett from Star Wars. And sometimes they make multiple versions of the same character. So for example, this Boba Fett is actually an even hard to find Boba Fett. The regular Boba Fett looks a little bit different from this one. The one I have here is the 2022 Galactic Convention exclusive, hence the sticker on the can. Now, the biggest thing about Funko Sodas is the Chase variant. So like Funko Pops, there is something called the Chase variant. And what is the Chase variant? Well, a Chase is a different version of a common Funko Pop, or in this case, a soda. However, it is more rare, because the quantity of it isn't as high as the common. That's why it's called a chase, because it is something collectors would want to chase after. So we have that for regular Funko Pops, and you usually are going to be able to identify what is a chase with the iconic chase sticker. However, for a Funko Soda's case, it is a lot different. Because these cans are all packaged the same way, you don't know what is inside. They are These cans are normally sealed, obviously the ones I have here are all open, but you see these in store or when you first purchase them, they are sealed. So the only way you're able to find out if they if you got your lucky and got yourself a chase is by of course opening the can, taking the figure out, looking at the pog, and see the pog is very important because this cardboard, this cardboard circular piece will tell you if you got the chase or not. For my case here, I did not get the I did get the chase for this Boba Fett, but I gave it to my friend, so I don't own it. I have the chase for the other Boba Fett. But the pod looks like this. It is a circular cardboard piece, and they will tell you if you got the chase or common. So for the common, they'll just tell you the name of the character as well as the piece counts. If it is the chase, they will tell you it's the chase by literally saying, you found the chase. So my Star-Lord here, this is my Star-Lord, this is also an exclusive from the sticker. It is a uh, San Diego Comic-Con 2022 exclusive edition, and for this case, I did find the chase. So this is what you're looking for. That's how you know you find the chase, where the pog literally says, you found the chase, and it tells you the name of this chase figure at the bottom. So in this case, it says the Star-Lord unmasked with cassette player and also the limited piece count. And you also notice, on each pod, there is a artwork on the other side. So for the chases, of course, the artwork will also look slightly different to the the common. It, it can vary because sometimes international cans tend to have different looking pods, but one thing will not change is, of course, the identifying whether it is a chase or common. Now, 
Sometimes, everyone makes mistakes, and obviously in production, Funko can sometimes make mistakes too. There was a scenario that happened to me once where I found the chase for Edna, for Edna Mode, the Incredibles character, the fashion, the superhero designer. I got the chase, but the Pog, like the Pog told me it was a chase, but the actual figure itself was a common. So sometimes, mistakes like this happen, so that's why I do recommend when you're getting a soda for the first time and you find the chase, you open the figure as well. There is a thrill to this. Some people like to not look at the pog when they first get the soda. They like to just open it. They like to just open it and they take the, soda, the figure out. Then they put the can away, not looking at the pog, and they open it, the figure, and see if, what they get. That's the thrill part. I personally like to do that too, only for new sodas that I'm getting for the first time. Because I know sometimes it is hard to resell commons because obviously everyone's after ch after chases. However, I do like to keep the figure sealed just in case I do have some potential resale value. So I will do the blind thing, but not all the case. Secondly, packaging. So in each soda, of course, we have the main can which is very, very durable compared to the regular Funko Pops, which of course are in boxes, and therefore are exposed to many risks of damage, uh, being lost, and all that. Cans, so durable. You can drop this, and the most it'll do is just dent it. But because these are metal, it, don't, it doesn't matter. It can take the damage. For a Funko Pop, they come in boxes, and of course, for those Funko Pops that are worth absolute madness prices if you drop it and the box gets creases or gets ripped or just gets like crushed it's game over it is near impossible to bring the box condition back to pick to perfect mint condition and a lot of collectors are very very passionate about box condition they want their pops to be mint for sodas that's not the case i like to say that for fungal sodas there are three pieces to collect. The can, the pog, and the figure itself. So there have been display cases where they have, they have been designed so you can display the can and the pog like this with the figure on the side. For me personally, because of space issues, I just want to keep the figure out and put the cans away. But it's absolutely possible. Now I bring this up because, like I said, for Funko Pops, Boxes do damage, they're made of cardboard. The soda figures themselves are also quite durable. They are made of course the same exact material as Funko Pops, but they're also quite tough as well. There has been cases where I've dropped some, but the worst I've gotten is just slight paint scratches and a little, little like dents. Very minor damage. So they are quite durable. And secondly, as I showed you, they come in a layer of bubble wrap, which are then also wrapped in a black plastic bag. So that plus the fact that they're in a metal can, your figure is safe. It will not get damaged. That's why I say for sodas, the, tour, the durability is very, very nice. So some of the sodas I brought out here, Mr. Monopoly, Star-Lord, which of course I got the Chase, and Boba Fett. Now, until recently, this was the standard size, this was the only size of sodas, which created limitations because you gotta fit the figure in the can. And so therefore, Funko has sacrificed some design, some potential design flaws for figures before just so they can fit in the can. Uh, a good example I can bring up is my Godzilla soda, where Godzilla is obviously a lot bigger than he what actually should be, but because of the can size, they had to purposely compress him and squeeze him up smaller so he can fit in the can. But I will say, for sodas, they are sometimes more accurately designed than actual Funko Pops. For Mr. Monopoly's case, so you'll notice for the soda can packaging, they actually they don't put the soda pop or the soda figure on the front cover. They have a cartoon drawn version of the character, a real like version of what the character would look like, and then only then you can see the Funko translation at the back. 
For Mr. Monopoly's case, he looks quite accurate to the real Mr. Monopoly mascot. And same thing with Starlo, he looks quite accurate to Chris Pratt. Whereas sometimes Funko Pops don't do that because they're just too bobble-headed and, and it just takes away the whole thing. So, sodas are definitely more accurate, I will say. But recently, because they only had this, this limited size, they actually decided to change it a little bit. So, recently, they actually had come up with these things called the three liter sodas, which are bigger sodas. And they come in these huge bottles. So to give yourself a comparison, this is the can, this is the bottle. Yeah, it is big. So, three liter sodas are essentially just bigger versions of these sodas. And they are completely new characters. They haven't really done any repeat characters except for Hulk. But now the question is, are they worth it? Clearly, these ones are a little bit more hard to find because of their size. Um, but I will say, you can get the same thrill and excitement of pulling chases out of these as you can with regular cans. Essentially, the only things these are are bigger. Now, there is a way to open these, and that is to, of course, pop the bottom, which I won't do because it is quite a very, it's quite a hassle to get these things open, so I'm going to leave it the way it is, but I will say these are worth around 40 USD on the Funko Shop for Canada. We haven't exactly gotten it yet, so it is a little bit hard to acquire. I got all mine off eBay, so it is what it is. But uh, two examples I have here, we have the Wampa creature from Star Wars, and then we have Baymax from My Hero 6. Or sorry, not My Hero 6, Big Hero 6. These ones are a little bit different because obviously um, they, are, they are bigger, so to find the chase is actually a lot harder. Are these any different from Funko Pops? Yes, actually. In fact, some of these sodas are bigger than Funko Pops. You can say, because Funko also has released many bigger Funko Pops, like Movie Moments, 10 inches, 6 inches, you can technically say, yes, this, these sodas are like Funko Pops, but no, they act like sodas. You are able to identify they are sodas because they don't come with boxes. They come with the cans or the, or the bottles, so that's what you can tell. So, these fall under the soda category. What are chases? I've kind of explained it already. Chases, of course, are the rarer versions. Now, that is what creates the hype for Funko Sodas chases. My only gripe with this is that they have chases for every single character, which is great, which gets people to wanting to buy more sodas because they want to get the full set. So if you're getting into sodas for the first time and you see the soda and you really want this chase, you may ask, can I just buy the chase itself? I'm sure people on eBay sell it. I know a store named Toy Traders that sells chases in the cabinet, is it worth it? I wouldn't say so. Because usually, chases are quite expensive because they are chases. Chases are great for the hype because of the rarity, and where rarity comes value. People want to get these chases because of the value. You will, What's better than paying $20 for a, let's say, $100 soda? That very de that depends on what what character you're getting. For my case, the Boba Fett chase here is worth two hundred dollars, and I paid thirty five dollars for this sealed can because it is an exclusive, so it was a little bit more pricier. But that's the point. If you want to buy the chase itself, you're looking at a quite high price. So I wouldn't push it. I wouldn't recommend it. Well, that also comes the sentimental value. There is the excitement. There is an excitement that when you first pull the chase out of the can, you, you act surprised. You're like, oh my god, I got the chase. I'm gonna play a couple clips here from my experience of finding chases, because I clearly have many. Let's go. Finally! Holy crap! Let's go! Yes! Let's go! So yeah, there is excitement when you pull the chase. Because it is something you you know is hard to find. And when you find it, you're like, oh my god, I found it! It's like finding a needle in a haystack. Now obviously, 
there is a way to guarantee yourself a chase. Usually Funko will put out cans of six and they will sell these cases and they'll usually ship these out to stores like Hot Topic, Walmart, Toys R Us to sell them. And they ship these out in cases of six. And in the cases of six, one of them is guaranteeing a chase. You can buy a full case. In store, online, I have done both. I have bought in a full case of uh, Wanda, uh, sorry, not Wanda, it was, I believe it was uh, Kong. I bought a full case of Kong sodas before just to guarantee myself the chase. So it is very possible, but obviously it's a huge investment. It's just almost the same as buying the chase itself. So I would say because of the experience and just, you know, save yourself money. Just get lucky. Buy a sealed can, pull it out. That is the sentimental value of it. Now, uh, to add on to our chase is worth it, it depends. Chases, while they are rare, doesn't always mean that they're good. For me personally, I sometimes have some sodas where I just have the common and I don't have the chase because I don't like the chase. Chases could vary very, very differently. It's not the same every time. A chase could mean flocked, whereas the figure may have just fur, like it's like it's furry. So for example, Kong, the common is plastic, the chase is flocked. That's a chase. Or a chase could be glow in the dark. For example, the Scarlet Witch chase is glow in the dark and common. Literally looks exactly the same. So in this scenario, I wouldn't care about the chase because they look exactly the same. I don't always care about value, I sometimes just care about the figure itself and the character. I'm not a collector who just cares about value, so that's why I was okay to not get it. So it really depends. Do you want a glow in the dark? Do you want a metallic? Oh yeah, metallic. That's another chase variant. Or ultimately, a chase could mean the figure is a different color, wearing a different outfit, holding something different. The options go on and on and on and on and on. It's full of possibilities. It's just, if they are different from the common, that is the chase. So, I suggest do your research. If there's a figure you want, do the research, look it up, see what the chase looks like, and ask yourself, do I really want it? Because sometimes I'll tell you, sometimes I wanted to get a specific chase, not because of value, just because of hype. For example, the Spider-Man soda that came out last year when No Way Home was out, it was a really big hype train for the movie, obviously. And I want the chase because the chase is a completely different suit. Are sodas a scam? No, I don't think so. They are quite fun to collect and Funko has been changing it up. For example, we have the recent Donald Duck soda where there's two possible chases you can get out of it. I don't have any, but it's possible. You can get two. So they're upping it up. They're kind of they're kind of changing the name of the game and obviously like the possibilities are endless. They have sodas just like regular Funko Pops. They have so many so many different characters that these sodas cover. So that is my quick little guide and to end it off this video I am now going to uh, show you my soda collection. Now obviously I don't have everything in the world but I'm going to show you what I have when I own my, the chases I have and then the commons I have and just to give you an idea of what these figures look like. And you know, maybe I can give you guys some ideas for those of you who are getting into Funko Sodas for the first time, what figures would you want to go collect? So let's shift over to the Funko shelf. All right, everybody, this is my Funko shelf. That's right, I have a shelf in the collection that is dedicated only to Funko Sodas. Well, except for the bottom, I have my YouTubes down there, but eventually I'm gonna have to move those out as I get more sodas over time. But you get what I mean. Uh, I'm not gonna go into like deep, deep details for each figure because obviously this video is gonna be taking too long. But I'm gonna give you a quick overview of what is there, what to expect. So starting off at the bottom here, this is, I believe, this is like not necessary figures I don't like, but it's just figures that uh, malicious figures, figures that I personally wouldn't exactly want to put on the top. But they, these are still good. I still like them. So no, I am not giving these away. <laughs> so 
Some of these include Donald Duck. Um, I recently just got this from Hot Topic. It is the Gingerbread Jack Skeleton, and then the regular Santa Jack. Uh, that's Cuber, or uh, Cube, or I forgot his name, Quip, or something like that. There's Crash Bandit, Ninja Turtles in the back. I have the entire office set here, so as you can see, Dwight, Michael, uh, Creed, and Jim Halpert at the back there. And uh, what else? We've also got Dracula. We got some artists back there. Nether Jack Skeleton. Sam. This is Huckleberry Hound. This is an anime character. Forgot this character's name. Flash Gordon. Mickey Mouse. Ghostbusters. Got some at the back here. Um, Neo, of course, from The Matrix. There you go. Some Ghostbusters for y'all. Uh, Frankenstein and Duck Dodgers, Hate, and whoever that character is, I don't exactly remember. And uh, of course, Geralt, or Geralt, from The Witcher. And then we have a WWE one as well, Stone Cold Steve. So, that is what I like to call the bottom layer. Moving a level up, we get into some of the more interesting characters, and this includes ad icons, DC characters, and some horror pops. Soda, sorry. So, my two personal favorites here, the Energizer Bunny and the Chester Cheetah. Those two are what I like to call the sunglasses duel, because they are both wearing sunglasses. And we do have, uh, I forgot that penguin's name, Sonic, Chucky, Leatherface. Some of my DC sodas are all up here. So this is my DC collection, and of course, these are all comments, by the way, I'm just letting you guys know. My chases are at the very top of the shelf. So, you have Larflees, Plastic Man, Black Adam, Dr. Fate, Hawkman, Martian Manhunter, Green Lanterns, Flash, Aquaman, Superman, Batgirl, and some of the villains at the back, as you can see. My favorite one is the Joker, that's for sure. Um, and then on the side we got some like ad icons and also some just iconic characters like Predator, Fix-It Felix, Mr. Monopoly. I love this soda so much. This is such a great one. Right beside fix -It Felix we got Wreck-It Ralph, Robocop, um, John Wick, which you can see on the back. We have Heat Miser, Snow Miser, Willy Wonka, Oompa Loompa, Popeye, uh, Ash and Jack Torrance, Terrence, forgot to say it, Pennywise, I said that already. Um, Mad Hatter, Rudolph, which is hidden, he's hidden all the way down there, I'm not sure you can see it, but there's Rudolph, Chernobog, Eleven, uh, Master Cheeks, sorry, Master Chief, and Ariel, the Little Mermaid. So, yeah, that's more commons, and then this is my personal favorite level. This has all my favorite characters, of course, Marvel and Star Wars are my top two franchises. And Lord of the Rings, can't forget about Lord of the Rings, but we got some good stuff up here. Star Wars, some of my favorites here, we got, we got Luke, we got both Boba Fett, as I've just mentioned. So this was the Galactic Convention exclusive, and then this is the regular Boba Fett. We also got two Lukes, so this is the common Luke, and then this is the 2022 convention Luke, which is a comic book Luke, hence why he has a red lightsaber. Jawa, and then we got C-3PO, we got Stormtrooper, Darth Vader of course, and then some of my Marvel characters. As you can see, I have way more Marvel than DC, that's saying something. <laughs> Star-Lord, as I showed you, that's the common. Doctor Strange, Captain America, Thor, Hulk, Shang Chi, of course, it won't be Marvel. It would not be Marvel without the legendary Stan Lee. So of course, Funko made a soda for him, dressed as a superhero, because Stan Lee is indeed a superhero. He also has a chase, which I don't have, and I'll tell you right now, the chase he is completely golden. I wish I had that, but he's quite expensive. So, oh well. Scarlet Witch is of course Vision, Egg of the Harkness. Captain Carter. Now there's two Spider-Mans here and you're wondering what is the difference? Well, this Spider-Man is the No Way Home Spider-Man, so the MCU Spider-Man in the black and red suit. And in this Spider-Man here is a uh, Japanese TV series Spider-Man. So it's, he was from the Japanese show and he is a slightly different outfit and all that. So that's why there's two. And then 
At the back, we have some other characters that are not from Marvel. We have uh, Rick from Rick and Morty, of course. Bumble from Rudolph Reynolds Reindeer. Some Monsters Inc. guys. We, of course, we got George Sanderson and Sully. And one of my personal favorites, Stay Puffed from Ghostbusters. I really like this pop. That, uh, I, that's why... That's why this Ghostbusters soda is up here, while the other Ghostbusters guys are down here. Yes, I just absolutely love Stay Puffs. He, he's a really cool character. And then, some Lord of the Rings guys. We got Sauron, of course, the main antagonist. Arwen, this one just recently got announced, and it's not supposed to be out yet, but I got my hands on it a little bit early, so... Damn. <laughs> Bilbo Baggins, and of course Frodo Baggins, the uncle and the nephew right there. And then of course some more Marvel characters. So I have Shuri, Deadpool, and if I remove move Frodo aside, you can see I have Groot in there. And then uh, right beside Groot, we have Rocket, Phoenix, who is not in live in the MCU yet. Uh, we have Iron Man. I'm not sure you can see it. I cannot pick that one out, but uh, here's a Google image of it. That is the Black Noir Spider-Man, Zombie Captain America, Yondu, She-Hulk, The Common, Winter Soldier. Again, you're probably going to have to see 360 footage of this. Um, Falcon, Venom, of course, Venom, and then of course it'll be Carnage. So of course, you can see I paired it, so Falcon and Winter Soldier. And then we have Venom and Carnage, and of course, Thanos, the big bad. Black Widow hidden at the very back there. She was skinny enough to fit into the small crack over there, so that's why she's all over there. And then we have some good stuff here. This is like Disney characters. We have Remy from Ratatouille. Up, so we have Russell and Carl. And then we have Edna, which of course I'm supposed to have the chase, but I technically don't because I don't have the figure. And then at the very back, the two monsters from Godzilla vs. Kong. Of course, we have Godzilla and Kong himself. So there's that. Um, and then that is all of my comments. As you can see, I have three layers of common sodas. So obviously, commons are a lot easier to collect. So that's why. So a little recap. So that's the first layer. And that's the second layer. And this is the third layer. And then this is the chase layer. So this is where all my soda chases are. I'm pretty sure at some point I'm going to need to um, start a whole new level up here and put more chases, but for now I have enough to fill the entire level. And as you can see, I have found quite a lot of chases in my time of collecting sodas. So, where do we begin? I guess we can begin over here at the Lord of the Rings stuff. So we have Frodo, Bilbo, Sauron. So of course you can see there's some differences happening. Behind here we have uh, this guy from Umbrella Academy, Popeye, Robocop, Jack Skeleton, these Huckleberry Hound, I forgot the name of that guy's name. But uh, the entire office set, as I said. So yes, I have the entire office set for both the common and the chases. So these are all four chases from the office line. And we have Flash Gordon hidden at the back. And then we have Star-Lord, Yondu, Doctor Strange, Agatha Harkness, Vision, Rocket, Groot, so Groot, you can see he has a different facial expression. Winter Soldier once again. Captain America, he's unmasked. Um, Venom and Carnage once again. Spider-Man, Iron Man, that, yep, that is Iron Man. Falcon, Thanos is at the very back. So an unmasked version of Thanos is the chase. Deadpool, zombie Captain America, Captain Carter, Shang-Chi, uh, Phoenix again, but uh, I don't know if you can see it from here, but the chase for her is Golden Eyes, Martian Manhunter, and then Carl, Young Carl, Russo, Aquaman, uh, Larfleeze, Dark Side, Crash Bandit, that guy over there, I forgot his name, Naruto at the very back, the gold one over there, 
Um, and then this one is, I believe, Squiddly Diddly, I think that was his name. And then my Star Wars ones are up here. So we have Luke Skywalker, Boba Fett, Stormtrooper, Jawa, and at the very back, if I don't know if you can actually see it, there's Darth Vader, C-3PO, Luke Skywalker, the comic version, the Ariel Little Mermaid, and then uh, Boruto. This one I just got recently. And then I have some chases locked away in this cabinet here as well, and that's because these are quite heavy and are exposed to getting damaged, and I can't afford that to happen. So, obviously I'm not gonna be able to take them out, so you're, I'm just gonna like try to briefly point the camera in and then you guys will see like, I don't know, glam shots or something like that. So let's begin. Chester Cheetah, Lucky, Rudolph, Eleven, Energizer Bunny, uh, John Wick at the very, very corner, Ash, Leatherface, Chucky, Jack Terrence, George Sanderson, Sully, Godzilla, Kong, Snow Miser, Heat Miser, Sharon Obog and Mad Hatter hidden right there. So obviously it's a little bit hard to see it. Uh, as you can see, if I take all these figures out onto the table, it will take a lot of effort. So that's why I, I'm not going to do it. But as of now, as of this video, these are all the chases I own. I will probably get more in the future. But for now, this is all the chases I own. Ugh, my voice is dying. <laughs> all right. The final layer, what do we have here? So, the final layer up here, I'm probably gonna be putting more chases up here in the future, but for now this is where I have my soda fridge. Yep, there's a fridge for this. And this is also where I'm displaying my ten, uh, my three liter sodas, because obviously they are not gonna fit with the rest of the sodas here. So I have four three liter sodas, none of them are chases, but it is what it is. And also I do have more chases, and I have some exclusive sodas as well but they are put displayed up here. So I will show you guys that momentarily. So I have Baymax, that's a three liter soda, Iron Giant, and then in my fridge here, we have just some cans I have laid out. So these are the three cans I showed you earlier. And that's the, and usually these, these fridges only come in retail stores. You'll see retail stores put these out and that's how they sell sodas. I got mine because of K-Dog and Fish. So shout out to that store, K-Dog and Fish, that has uh, generously hooked me up with this fridge as well as this display case. So very, very generous of them. Okay, two other three liter sodas I have. I just got these recently, actually. So we have the Juggernauts and we have the Wampa from Star Wars. And then if we move these guys aside, I can show you what we have at the back. So these are my other chases. So these, because I got these custom display cases, that's why I was able to display some sodas at the back. So this is the Master Chief Chase. Stay Puffs, once again, my absolute favorite soda. And that is the chase. Sonic, Remy, and then these two are not chases, they're just exclusives. Booberry and the Invisible Frodo Baggins. So these, those are exclusive sodas that do not have chases, but uh, they are quite expensive because of the rarity of them anyway. So they, they're kind of chases if you think about it. So that is my entire soda collection as of this video. Probably after this video, I will be getting more chases for the collection. So obviously, I'm going to make this video way too long if I go into deep, deep details. So obviously you can pause the video anytime to look at my collection to see what I have in there. But for the time being, that is my entire sodas. And yeah, quite a hefty one, isn't it? So I'm gonna cut it here now. So back to the table. So that is it for this video. This is my quick little guide on Funko sodas and exactly what are they and are they worth it. Then again, it is up to your opinion. If you just want to stick to regular Funko Pops, be my guest. But I do highly recommend sodas for the collectors because this is a fun alternate thing you can also collect. Funko Pops are fun, yes. But there is a whole new avenue of products you can collect. There's mystery minis, there's pocket pops, there's, oh, I think I have, for, there's gold figures, I think. 
but sodas I highly recommend because they are just as fun as collecting regular Funko Pops. There is excitement and there is sentimental value to these things and I do say once you get one, you're gonna ex you're gonna understand what I mean. So yeah, so that is it for this video. If you uh, want to check out my most expensive Funko Pops I own, the video is right here. You can watch that right now. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button, of course. Subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.